I never thought we'd be in the timeline where Nephilim would be going to political rallies, but <laughs> here we are today. If you guys seriously think that matters like this are solely about politics, I don't know what else to tell you because it's clear that we are in a spiritual war. And for the longest time, demons have been gaslighting Christians not to get involved in politics. Meanwhile, the devil is clearly involved in politics. And if we don't wake up as the church, these entities are going to continue to advance their agenda at our expense as believers. What's going on, guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Did a demonic creature just shapeshift at a Kamala Harris rally? This disturbing clip has been going viral where a guy with dreads behind Kamala at one of her rallies in Las Vegas has his pupils go completely missing. Let's take a look at the original footage from the rally first, and then afterwards we're going to do a deeper dive on if this actually was a shapeshifting creature caught on camera. And it is so good to be here with so many incredible leaders, including my dear friends, Senator Catherine Cortez Masto, <laughs> Senator Jackie Rosen, who we will re-elect to the United States Senate. That is absolutely freaky. And for those who don't have spiritual eyes to see, they may think that this was a camera glitch or something, but I'm not buying that story at all. Especially after seeing this footage from another lens that I'm going to show you right now, which has gone absolutely viral on TikTok. Many people didn't believe that this could be a shape-shifting creature at first until they put this footage under a thermal camera, only to reveal that the individual's pupils do in fact go completely missing. Check out this footage and you'll see that it gets even creepier. Look at, look at the woman right here next to Kamala. Watch your eyes. Watch it. Watch it. Here it comes. Oh my God. I rebuked that in the name of Jesus. Now, given that there was a jumbotron up top, some people claim that he was just looking upwards at it, but other people in the audience were also looking up, and you could still see their pupils. Considering that the Democratic Party has branded themselves off of being anti-God, with the promotion of destroying the nuclear family, pushing the agenda of deviant and perverted lifestyles, as well as advocating for terminating innocent life in the womb, it is not too far off that a rally like this would attract demonic entities. 2 Corinthians 11.14 says, And no wonder, for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of life, which clearly shows us that spiritual entities can take on different forms in order to deceive the masses. The truth of the matter is, politics is more spiritual than people understand, because it either has the ability to enforce policy that aligns with God's kingdom, or oppose it altogether. If demons are showing up to her rallies offering their support and endorsement, that should be an indication in itself that this is not a candidate that God has appointed at all. Use your free will to vote wisely in this election, but most importantly, pray for America, because we are truly in one of the most intense spiritual battles that this country has ever seen. And to be clear, I will not be voting for Kamala Harris because she is a Jezebelic witch who hates this country as well as our Christian values. And she made that clear by kicking out Christians from her rallies as well as supporting agendas that are just completely demonic. This woman ran her entire campaign off of manipulation, which is exactly what witchcraft is, by pushing fake stories about how Trump will institute a national abortion ban, even though she knows very well that the president does not have political power to do that. That would be up to the Supreme Court to even pass anything like that, so she's either really bad at her job or she's just a straight up liar. Either way, it doesn't make her a good candidate whatsoever. She also lied about Project 2025, saying that it was Trump's plan for a dictatorship, even though he has nothing to do with it, and he even said so himself, that he has nothing to do with the project at all. It was just created by one of his supporters. We could go in-depth about all of her lies, but the reality is, my camera battery would probably die by the time we're done with half of it. The truth of the matter is, this is a demonic woman, and these satanic creatures endorsing her shows exactly that. Donald Trump has my vote, and I believe that if you're a Christian who supports the Democratic Party, you are actually a lukewarm warm Christian, and you need to repent quickly for your sins. God will hold you accountable for all of your actions, and that includes supporting a woman who wants to kill babies inside of the womb. If you guys made it all the way till the end of the video, I want you guys to comment down below. The veil is thinning. If you guys want to financially sow into this ministry, I do have an offering link that's in the description, and I also have merch you can buy, which is also linked in the description. If you guys want to watch my last video, simply click up here, and if you guys want to subscribe to the channel, simply click up here. I'll see you guys very soon for another video. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out.